Today is uh, November 6. It's exactly one month since they, they are grafted and uh, it's 20 days since last update. And the one I want to show is this guy. You can see clearly the center grows, the little bump in the middle. That's why you don't see 20 days ago. That's the proof that the this guy is uh, established and it start to grow and compared to 20 days ago they are not there and um, this is the evidence I was waiting for to prove that, that these two pick methods works so even the seedlings is not grafted near the camping layer they can still establish connections between the, the their camping layer and the stock uh, camping layer, create a new channel or veins to draw nutrients from the stock. And if you move to this one, this one is not as healthy as that one because the rot here. It's create a little hole here, so every time they rain, it's, this one fill with water. So create a environment for more bacteria or mold or those micro growth. So it kind of delayed the, the growth on these two. So you can see the little bump didn't show on this guy yet. So talking about the the clean. Uh, the sterilization when you're grafting these guys uh, when I do the grafting on this time I just um, sterilize the two and my hand but uh, the seedlings is not uh, sterilized so I did the experiment on this guy and I basically just sprayed the seedlings the seedlings literally soaked in ethanol uh, the, the rubbing alcohol, 70% uh, isopropanol and just want to see if the seedling can survive the uh, alcohol treatment and you can see they are still very green, very healthy so they survived, so alcohol do not damage the seedlings so every time that you try to graft you can spray alcohol directly on the seedlings they won't, they can tolerate and this one is a little interesting too. This is the oldest one. I did it on December, uh, September 27th. It's older than these guys. But they really connect very, very small area connected to the, the stock. And you can see the little roots coming out. Um, you can see it's uh, pretty strong still, so it's, it's that the connection is established. But because the connection is so small, you can see something start to grow from the center. It's a very small, so I I think this one is going to survive. It just need a little more time to to grow. And these three are the one I a new experiment kind of. And um, I, the, the difference between this guy and, the, and, and this guy is, for this guy I just put, punch the hole in the stock and uh, drop the ceiling in the hole. It had no thing to hold them down, so they can be kind of uh, floating in the juice, on in the cactus juice. It's no cl uh, close connection between close uh, flash to flash connection between the scion and the cambium layer I mean uh, the stock tissue so I I use the tape to um, push it down so create this tight connection I just want to see if if this tight connection can make uh, the seeding establish the graphene faster and also I want to test that the see the little one the middle one is directly grafted on the cambium layer 
and also the two wing is uh, far away from the camping area. So I just want to compare them in just one setting, which one start to grow faster. Is the one connected to the camping area or the one that's far away from the camping area? So this one and that one is the same thing. So to, the comparison to see a uh, camping layer connection can make the establish or grafting faster. So that's about it about the the graftment. Now we are moving to the guys that still growing in soil. These are the brothers and sisters seedlings from this guy. You can see the new growth in here and compared to here. And these guys are clearly better. And that one, this guy, this one is the fastest one. The new growth is about um, almost like a two <coughs> millimeter long now. And all the other ones are all bigger than the grafted. So because this guy has in, uninterrupted growth compared to this guy was um, a, the growth was stopped by cutting off from the soil and they put in a, put in a, 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 another dragon fruit. So they have a delay in growth. So now I must see this. Uh, I'm going to try to see if this, since it's already established, I want to see if this, from now on, this one growing is the same as this guy or will be faster than this guy. It's supposed to have better root system, so it's supposed to grow faster. Another interesting thing about this guy is, I don't know if you can see it, every one of them. It's four sided. So far, the, the one I can I can tell, I can. There are four sided. I grow um. I I grew um, Polora from seeds before, and their seedlings are all three sided. I don't see. I did not see any even one four sided seedlings. And these guys, the seedlings are all four-sided. So far, I don't see any one that's three-sided. That's pretty interesting, I think. And, uh, oh yeah, this is an interesting one too. You can see this one. This guy is clearly broken from this stem. This is broken from there. But they grow a root from here and touch to the soil and they continue to grow. Is that interesting? I found it very interesting. It's so versatile, this dragon fruit. They can survive anything. So this is already getting too long and um, I'll see you next time.